हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो एज यू गाइस ऑलरेडी नो दैट टुमारो इज क्रिसमस एंड देयर फोर आई एम डिसाइडिंग टू गिव मार्वल राइवल शेडर कंप्लीटली फॉर फ्री एंड दिस शेडर इज मच बेटर देन द प्रीवियस शेडर दैट आई हैव गिवन दिस शेडर कैन इजीली फिक्स द हेयर प्रॉब्लम द हेयर लुक्स टू शाइनी इट कैन इजीली फिक्स द मेटेलिक प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सी द मेटल डज नॉट लुक्स मेटेलिक एट ऑल एंड इट कैन आल्सो फिक्स द बैड आईब्रोज इन सम कैरेक्टर लाइक लूना स्नो very easily okay so make sure to watch the video till end and make sure to subscribe my channel okay let's start the tutorial now friends i will tell you how to actually apply my shader as you can see we will try to edit this thor suit you can see this should look metallic kind of metallic and it should not look so rough so we will try to fix this problem with our shader okay so first of all about downloading the shader you can download the shader through the link in description it's a google drive link and you can simply download the shader from there once you have downloaded the shader you just need to select your object you can see i have selected our object i want to select thor suit and apply my shader on it because it does not looks metallic so i will just select it and then go to the shading tab and now when you come here you can see the thor is already been selected if you are very disturbed of this bone you can just click here and click on bones button and it will be disabled we can enable it again by clicking here and then pressing on bones okay so for now we will disable it you can see our thor is thor suit is selected and the related material is already coming in the shading tab below okay you can see mi equip 01 is the related material of thor suit okay you can see this is the default shader for marvel rivals mr hero is the default shader that come with rival porting we need to replace it with our shader okay so once you have downloaded the file you can just click on this file then click on append button i have downloaded my file in desktop you can see mr warlord shader this is the file name just double click on it go to node 3 and here you will find two different shaders mr shader this is for character body and then character skin and there is a separate shader for hair so right now we are uh, we are texturing the body part of thor so we'll use this mr shader from warlord tutorial not the hair shader the second shader and then press append button once you have appended it just delete this shader okay so friends as you can see that i have already deleted the default shader and the texture is gone completely black because there is nothing linking it to the surface okay now we need to add our own shader so just click here and then press shift plus a okay shift plus a on your keyboard and then go to this group option here you can find my shader you can see mr shader from warlord tutorials has already been available here so just click on it and bring it in the scene okay now you need to connect d you can see this is the d d means diffuse so to connect diffuse to diffuse orm to orm and then normal to normal and then specular to specular and then connect the shader output to surface Damn, you can see how amazing it is started to look instantly. Okay, you can see how amazing it looks. Okay, and now I will tell you about each setting. You can see there is a lot of settings here, like literally a lot of setting. So hue, as the name suggests, we can change the color of this to some different hue. Okay, we can also increase the saturation here. You can see saturation. If you increase the saturation, the color will increase, and if you decrease it, you can see everything goes white. Okay, so one is default good. and suppose you can see that the thor skin is not very bright so in that case you can actually apply my shader and in, use this brightness shader to increase the brightness let me show you you can see i have increased the brightness and it can go up to maximum 2 but there is no limit you can actually go up to 100 or whatever you want custom value okay you can see it has gone to 100 also but for now we will keep it at 1 and if you want to enable custom color here okay you can just click on this custom color enable here okay just click change it to one and then you can the color of the whole suit okay so it's that easy now we can disable this custom color and here you can see i have already made a ao switch option because if you don't want to use ambient occlusion map you can simply toggle this off okay and you can see it instantly decreases the uh, increases the brightness in some darker areas you can see there should be a shadow and there is but if i turn on the um, turn off the ambient occlusion you can see it has gone little bit brighter okay so we can use this ao switch to actually disable the Uh, extra dark part in our character but i will keep it on because it adds an extra depth because extra depth to our character because it should be dark okay so this is the ao then comes the roughness and this is the really important setting guys if you decrease the roughness your suit will become more shiny okay you can see yeah it is been shiny it is looking good now and if i increase the metallic obviously the metallic it will look more metallic so we don't need to make it more metallic i think 0.3 0.4 shininess is good and we can actually keep it up to 1.5 metallic you can see how amazing the shoot looks okay and this is the normal strength it controls the uh, small 
areas strength some small geometry if you decrease you can see the result it can you can see the details on the creases are increasing and decreasing one is fine we don't need to change it one always work fine okay and this is the most important setting specular because marvel rises uses colored specular it can control our color it can control specular brightness and it also control our roughness also it controls three parameters so specular is really important first let's talk about specular strength if you increase it you can see the more it it it, it becomes more reflective okay you can see the white it it is really shining the suit is really shining but i uh, recommend to use the specular strength up to 0.2 or 0.1 i keep, personally keep it at 0.1 because i don't want too much overexposed uh, uh, metallic part of this body so i will keep it at 0.1 specular brightness is a really important thing it actually controls the brightness of this metallic part okay let me show you you can see right now you can see this golden thing is getting influenced by it okay this golden thing so if you really want to make your suit look more golden and is actually bring out this small highlights you can see there are some micro details available in this scene in this thor suit okay so if you want that you can actually go up to higher values but i don't want it so i will actually keep it at 0.7 0.8 is fine for me this much bright is fine okay now specular roughness is actually control the roughness of this actually metallic part okay the roughness was controlling the metallic of whole suit but this actually uh, controls the roughness of this spe specifically shiny part and the brightest part here okay so if i decrease the roughness just watch what happens you can see how much amazing the detail looks now it's it's had it had started with looking really shiny and like a real suit now okay so you can see how easy it is to tweak with my own shader okay so it is that easy guys and this shader is dope it can it it gives you so much control on your uh, material that you can do anything with it okay let me demonstrate the same thing with you we once we have tweaked the setting we don't need to tweak the whole shader setting again and again we can just click on the shader and then copy the shader and i want my hand also you can see the hand is also metallic and but it is not looking like this i want my hands uh, uh, armor also to look like this armor okay so i will select the hands remove the default material or what i will do is i will disconnect this default material because i want to show the difference between these two shaders okay so i will add my own shader the tweak shader the setting which i found recently i will just press ctrl plus v my own shader has been available here we will just delete this and make a little bit of space okay now i will start connecting everything connect diffuse to diffuse orm to orm normal to normal specular to specular and you can see there is a common extra black whatever thing is we don't need this material because it's common and it's going to emissive and if something is black and it goes to emission then it that it means that there is no emission so by default our emission is already black so we don't need this texture okay so we won't connect it now we will just connect the shader to surface you can see how it is looking right now it's looking really dope the armor is looking shiny like it should look and it's also looking metallic but if i con connect the default this this one is default octane shader that's uh, this one is default marble level shader it's come with the uh, rival sporting but if i connect this to out final output you can see it has lost all its shininess like it's some cartoon gaming from some cartoon by the way marvel rivals is a cartoon game but i want my characters to look real i want more control on his body i it i i will decide that it should look shiny or not so if you want that kind of thing you can use my shader as soon as i connect it <clears throat> the shininess the re reflection the roughness the metallic part everything's get instantly popped up so it's that easy guys you can see this is the power of my shader okay so i hope you enjoyed this shader now i will tell you how to fix the air have you seen a guy with this beard so shiny you can see how much shiny his beard looks and he really looks trash right now okay so for fixing the hair i have another shader once you append the file you can get both the shaders okay so right now i will select my hair not the short one the big one in which the beard is already attached or uh, yeah beard is attached in already that one so i will just select this one here material as you can see there are different texture available here not the same as the normal body part so i will again delete the default base shader or we will just keep it here we will we won't use it we will add our own shader just go to press shift plus on your keyboard go to group and here uh, sorry i have not appended it first we need to append it just click on append and then you can see this is the shader hair shader from walla tutorial we need to append this hair shader from the file okay just select it and then press append button and press shift plus a group and here you will find some there hair shader from wall or tutorial just select it and then bring it here and we'll start connecting everything as it is diffuse 
to diffuse you can see ao ao to connect ao will be connected to ao embed occlusion normal will be connected to normal normal is here we don't need to collect highlight we can connect the anisotropic an we connect it to an and then we will connect the hair mask mask goes to this mask option okay just connect it to mask and now connect the whole output to the surface you can see damn the hair is started looking cool it looks cool it it does not looks like trash let me connect the default one you can see how much shiny have you seen some guys beard this shiny and it's really shiny i don't know why it kind of looks like this but who cares why the beard is looking so bad okay so we can just connect our own shader right now and instantly our shader but we can further control the shininess also okay if you even still want your beard to look shiny you can decrease the roughness and it will start looking shiny but i don't want it to look shiny so i will increase the roughness and you can see now it looks like real hair okay and if you think that the hair is too brown you can decrease the metallic it will it, it will get lighter color and you can if we increase the metallic it will get more dark okay but we can also add our own color okay in this in by going on this diffuse tint okay you can see we can we are adding our own air color so this much control this shader brings you okay just press control plus z and everything will go to default sorry control plus z yeah everything has gone to default this is the default here for shader okay so this is how you fix the hair this is how you use my shade or body part and now comes the final part is fixing this luna snow's eyebrow and i don't know why she looks why her eyebrows are like this but there is a very simple fix it happens due to the ambient occlusion just select her face right now you can see her body is combined in a single mesh which is not good for us so we'll just press tab button right click separate by material okay we will wait for some time and press tab button again to come to object mode then we will select her face you can see her face is here so we'll just press here and as you can see that the face is selected now very simple fix for this weird eyebrow is to turn down the ao instancy to zero in default shader only you can do this in default shader only okay so just turn down this ao shader and you can see ao settings and you can see the the eyebrows are fixed and she looks kind of really cool okay so this is how you fix the weird eyebrows and it comes in some characters face so there is a very simple fix just turn down the ao intensity to zero and it will be fixed okay and i don't know why it happens i have no idea why this uh, black things come out maybe they wanted to add some shininess in the video game but in the blender it has done some bad job in texturing the this uh, part of the body so there is very simple fix just turn down the ao and it will be fixed okay so friends you can repeat the same steps for uh, other body parts of thor also and it not only works with thor it works with every other agent that is available with marvel label if you want to improve its shading to make a more realistic and much high quality render you can use my shader very easily on very different part of the body also okay of the same character okay so i hope you enjoyed my today's video make sure to create awesome stuff and this is the thing that i am giving you for christmas for free i have worked hand, hard on this shader so friends make sure to subscribe my channel hype my video and just keep on supporting me because i really need your help and you guys have motivated to make me so much content i will be more i will make more amazing content for you just keep supporting me till then guys signing out your favorite youtuber warlord tutorials enjoy happy christmas <laughs>